All right, hello my friends. I have a story for you today. It's called No More Water in the Tub. It is by Ted Arnold. And I just wanted you to see, I know we have here some brothers on the cover. I wanted you to see on the title page here, we can see that these brothers, do they live in the country or do they live in the city? Yeah, it looks like they live in the city. They live in a building. And if you look in the window, oh, there they are getting ready for a bath. This reminds me of when we read the book. Yeah, when we read the book Blackout in the very beginning, we were able to peek in the window and that gave us a clue about what was going to happen in the story. And here we have getting ready for a bath. Here we go. Ooh, still getting ready for the bath there. In a bathroom near the top floor of a tall apartment building, William was ready for his bath. Walter had finished and fresh water was running into the tub. Let's get a little closer. Get in, William, said Mom. Walter, keep an eye on your brother. Leave the faucet on another minute, then no more water in the tub. See her little finger? No more water in the tub. Aw, oh, Mom, William said as he climbed in. I like it deep. You heard me. One minute. She closed the bathroom door as she left. Walter reached for the tub faucet. Not yet, William yelled. I'm turning it on faster, Walter answered. So you'll get more water in one minute. Let's see how fast it'll go. He twisted the cold water handle and water gushed into the tub. <gasps> What if I turn it all the way until... You can see what happens here. The faucet came off. Water blasted out of the fixture. In an instant, the bathroom flooded. The tub broke loose from the floor and floated away from the wall. When mom looked in to see what all the racket was, Water burst through the door, taking the tub with it. Hey, just for a second, that word racket. Mom looked in to see what all the racket was. What does racket mean in this? Yeah, I think she was seeing what all the noise was about, what all the funny sounds were. Well, yep. Mom looked in to see what all the racket was. Water burst through the door, taking the tub with it. Down the hall, William sailed, leaving Mom and Walter behind. Picking up speed, he passed the kitchen and the living room, headed for the front door. It opened. I'm home, said Dad. Then out the door and down the steps went William in his bathtub. Do you think that water is going to flow up to the top of the apartment building? Give it some thought. There we go. It says here, in the apartment below, Miss Mabel Hattie was serving tea. In the apartment below, the water is going to run downhill, or in this case, down the apartment building. Here we go. In the apartment below, Miss Mabel Hattie was serving tea to her bridge club members when she heard a bump at the door. Oh, that must be Betty at last, she said. As Mabel opened the door, she complained, why are you always so late? Was it Betty? No, nah, it wasn't Betty. Here we go. It was William who answered, I didn't know you were expecting me. And this is how he came in the door. Oh, that's a lot of water. Oh, that's a lot of splashing. Oh, as a wave of water tipped Mabel backward, William rode his bathtub into the room. He circled the card table and followed the rushing waters back the way he came. Then out the door and down the steps went William in his bathtub. 
out went Mabel on the table. Okay, see how we have this going on now? There's, the water's still gonna be going downhill. Here's William in the tub, but now Mabel is on the table and she's going too. One floor down, remember the water's gonna rush down. One floor down, Sue and Vern Maddie were expecting their house, were watering their house plants when they heard a knock. Expecting pizza to be delivered, Sue quickly answered the door. You're not our regular pizza boy, she sputtered as William surfed into the room, followed by Mabel. Waves rolled through the apartment, crashed against the back wall, and turned. Then out the door and down the steps went William in his bathtub, out went Mabel on the table, and now Sue and Vern, they're clinging to a fern. Now the water is washing them away too. Water's pretty powerful stuff. Downstairs, Uncle Nash stepped into the hall to take out the garbage. He felt a drop of water and looked up. And there was William in the bathtub plunging down a waterfall where the staircase used to be. I see your folks are having plumbing problems, Uncle Nash said, as the churning water swept him off his feet. Past the door and down the steps went William in his bathtub. Also going down was Mabel on the table, Sue and Vern clinging to a fern, and Uncle Nash, he just sat in the trash. They're all blowing down. Oh, Patty Fuzzle was just about to put her last jigsaw piece into place. You know what jigsaw means? What a, a jigsaw piece would be? There's a picture of it right here. She was just about to put that last piece of her puzzle in. Ah, sad about that puzzle. Let's see what happens. She heard a knock and thought her sister Natty was home from babysitting, but when she opened the door, it was William and the upstairs neighbors who spilled into the room. I have a sinking feeling I'll never finish my puzzle. She cried as the surging tide swirled around. Then out the door and down the steps went William in his bathtub. Out went Mabel on the table, Sue and Vern clinging to the fern, Uncle Nash sitting in the trash, um, uh, Patty Fuzzle. She was just steering her puzzle. Well, this isn't very realistic. That puzzle would have broken, right? I don't know. Oh dear. Yeah, while Mr. and Mrs. Hanratty were out, Natty Fuzzle was babysitting little Dottie. They were in the bathroom reading a story when they heard a key in the front door. That must be your mom and dad, said Natty. Then she heard water roaring down the hall toward the bathroom. William's tub pushed the Hanrattys inside we're home, they managed to say. Then out the door and down the steps went William in his bathtub. Out went Mabel on the table. Sue and Vern clung to a fern. Uncle Nash sat in the trash. Patty Fuzzle steered her puzzle. And little Dottie, yep, she's still riding the potty. <laughs> Downstairs, <laughs> the furling gaddis. Let me read that again. Furlingatis. Downstairs, the Furlingatis string quartet had been practicing all evening. Mind if I fix a snack called Mr. Bello from the kitchen? Make yourself at home, answered Mrs. Furlingati. Suddenly, the stove caught fire. Flames spread quickly. We need the fire department, cried Mr. Bellow. The building is burning. A fire alarm began to ring and everyone leaped to their feet. Mr. Bellow reached the door first and threw it open, yelling, get low and go, because that's what you do in a fire. 
you get low and you go. And look at him go. He's hustling, isn't he? But I just got here, said William. He and the neighbors stormed in on a tidal wave that flooded the burning apartment. Flames hissed. Smoke and steam filled the air. Just as quickly as the fire had started, it was gone. And the water began draining away. Look at that. All that water. What did it do? It put out the fire. Then out the door and down the steps went William in his bathtub. Out went Mabel on the table. Sue and Vern clung to a fern. Uncle Nash sat in the trash. Patty Fuzzle steered her puzzle. Little Dottie was sailing her potty. And Mr. Bellow, he is now rowing his cello. Fire trucks and crowds of people arrived as William clattered down the front steps of the building. The tub ran aground in the street and William's neighbors washed up behind it. Good work putting out that fire, son, said the fire chief. You are a hero. He hung a heavy medal around William's neck and everyone cheered. Then they all went home, Walter said. The end. That was a great story, Walter. Tell me another one, begged William. Okay, said Walter. William forgot all about turning the water off in one minute. The bathtub overflowed and quickly flooded the floor. Mom threw open the door and screamed, no more water, but she was too late. The tub broke loose and floated away from the wall, then out the window and down the fire escape. Down the fire escape went William in his bathtub. What just happened here? Did you see that? Here we have, he's down, he ran aground in the street. The fire is out. The fire chief is putting a medal on his neck. But then up here, he's in the bathtub and his brother is, his brother is telling him a story. His brother told him all of this was the story that his brother told him while he took a bath. And then he told him another story where he went out and down the fire escape. Oh, looks like it's a good story, doesn't it? What do we say at the end of a story? The end. But is it really the end of a story? Is it really? Because what I would like you to do, just like Walter did for William, I would like you to do for me. I would like you to, on the dojo, tell me what kind of story would happen to you if you were in a bathtub that overflowed. What would happen to you? I'm putting that on the dojo for you, all right? Thanks for listening.